Hey y'all, it's Fancy. So today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up some of these Make It Mini Miniverse foods. This one is gonna be Cafe Series 3. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna open them all up first and then we're gonna do them after. So we'll see what we get. Hopefully we don't get any duplicates, but if we do, we'll just put it in for um, remix purposes. And so, um, I went ahead and actually started my opening because I broke two nails trying to take the little tabs off. So I was like, yeah, we're not going to be doing that. So I went ahead and started my process to make it a little easier. So let's go ahead and get started. to make five packages and so this is our little guide as to what we can get and so looks like there's s'mores potatoes chicken soup birthday cookies matcha latte pickles banana berry smoothie mango popsicles looks like choco bear pop dragon fruit bowl blue raspberry snow cones and a bagel with blocks so let's see which one that we get right now all right so let's go ahead and open everything see what we get the little bag is so cute sis thank you oh well we have a little mason jar cup that's cute. And let's see. Ice, ice, ice. What do we got here? Oh, I think we're going to be making the matcha latte. All right, so we got that one. And then, yep, this is going to be our dollop of whipped cream. Then we have our little coaster that says Rise and Time, Rise and Shine Tico. And then what is this one? This one is our ice. So we got that. And then let's see what our utensils are. Alright, so we get a straw. And then we get, of course, the tweezers that come with it and then the little knob that goes into the top of the lid like so so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put all of the ingredients back in here to where we can do them after we open the other two that are up here all right so there's one down All right, let's get this one. All right. Good pop. All right, let's see what we get in this one. Oh, looks like we got a little mat that says good morning on it. Of course, the papers and another one of the guides as to what we would get. We already have one open over here, so that's all we need. And this one, we got one, two, three, four, and our utensil bag. Let's get ready, you two. All right, so good morning. Let's see. This one, okay, yeah, I think it's going to be the dragon fruit bowl. Let us see. Oh, look, it's a smoothie container. I haven't seen one this size. 
and or shape. So that's different for me. And what's in here? Looks like pineapple and blueberries. And then our have a sunny day. It's gonna be some granola. And let's see what our utensils are. Oh, gotta have a spoon. And of course our tweezers and our knob. To go into the top of our lid. So we did get in the first one. We got the matcha latte, and then this one is the dragon fruit bowl. So we'll put it all back in here to where we can open up this last one. There we go. I'm excited to make these. difficulties back to where we were that wasn't too good of a pop but still a pop all right let's see what we get in this one we'll get rid of our little pamphlets there we don't need and then this one we got one two three four and five. Oh, and we have something in here too it looks like we're gonna be making the pickles. Okay, so let's see what all of our ingredients are. So we have our mason jar. There's that. Just go ahead and put it in the little container there. This is, oh, how cute. The little mustard seeds. And then we got our vinegar with a little piping tip. Got to have that. And this one. Oh, well, we can't do it without the pickles. So, how cute are these? Even the little detail that's on them is so cute. I am excited. All right, let's see what our utensils are. We got another spoon, but this one's a bigger one. Oh. There we go. And we have our tweezers again and our top knob. There we go. All right. So, which one should we start with first? I guess we'll just kind of go in the order that I opened them. So let's start matcha latte. Okay. I'm actually going to set you all right up here for a second. Under here, keep a little piece of parchment paper to where I don't mess up my little mini verse table thing. All right, so let's see what the instructions say. Alright, so it looks like we're going to put our ice, then our resin, and then our dollop of whipped cream, and then the straw, and then we're going to bake it for 5 to 10 minutes. However, I'm not going to put it in the sun because it's not sunny where I'm at right now. And so, but what I do have, I have one of these little lamps that will definitely help us out. 
All right. Let's go ahead and pop out our straw. Let's open our whipped cream. Oh, how cute is that? A little dollop of whipped cream, a little hole where the straw can go in. I love it. Get you there. And of course, it's the cute little ice. And it even has the little twisty tie thing that you get like on bread and stuff. So let's go ahead and open you. And so. Are you open already, or do you need to be cut? Let's go ahead and cut you. Pause while I grab some scissors. All right. There we go. So, I know from previous experience that adding in the resin after the ice. You gotta bang it onto the table in order for it to get down to the bottom. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to actually add it some first. Okay. Alright, I hope it comes out easy. Fairly easy, rather. I know it has to be squeezed sometimes. Come on out. Five hours later. Yeah, there's enough in here. It's heavy. And if it's just oh, this drop right here is fine, just to where I can have something at the bottom. Come on, Miniverse. I know you gave me some in here. I think we have to pull out reinforcements. I am literally squeezing this and squeezing it and nothing is coming out. Well, that stinks. Are you going to come out? Maybe. There we go. Now, let's go in this way. Will it even go on? Yes, you just have to push it. All right, I think this is as good as we're gonna get it because there is resin everywhere. I need to get some alcohol wipes. And whenever you get resin, like on your hands and stuff, alcohol wipes are the business. That's what you need. All right. 
neat. Well, a gazillion years later, we finally have our matcha latte. Take these two tables. And since this is so short, oops, um, I use the tables whenever it's an item that has like a straw or just any other type of tall item. Because that allows me to put it only in there. Alright, there you go in there. We'll give that about five minutes or so. And then we'll take it out. Alright, now maybe our next one will be a little quicker. Clean up the area or scoot everything over rather. I'm glad we didn't get any duplicates today, too. The ones I'm trying on for the first time. Alright. First, let's open up our resin. Let's see the ones. Berries and pineapples. And our little granola. Had to snip the top there. Actually, just to where it doesn't go everywhere. I'm going to use this to set that in. All right, so let's see what we have to look at here. Dragon fruit bowl right there. All right, so it looks like we're going to be pouring some of our smoothie mix in, and then we're going to be adding our fruit and our granola. I think I'm going to do it a little different though because all of this is going to sink to the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to fill up the bowl and then I'm going to harden it. Then I'm going to add in everything else with a little bit more on top. So yeah, let's get started. Is this a turn or a pull? A turn. Well, this is thick. You thick, sister. So make sure we have enough to put the fruit on later. It's actually fairly thick. So we could possibly put the fruit and everything on it and then hurry up and cure it. We'll try for a piece and see what happens. Okay, so let's try for a piece of pineapple and see what it does. 
I'm gonna go back to our little picture here and see the way that it has it. Okay, so just pineapples and some blueberries and some granola in the front. I think we can make that work. sinking so far, so I think we have time. I personally like pineapple, so we'll put some extra chunks in there. Going for some blueberries. There it goes. Wild blueberry moving around. Alright. Sorry, I'm not as talkative, but when I gotta concentrate. Kind of what happens. Oh, where are you going? Right over there. How cute. Now, the granola goes in the front, which I'm not sure how much of all of this is going to, like, stick, but I'll start with just a little here, and then we'll use these to push it in some. Resin is on it. Move these little pieces in between. Okay. How does that look? I think it looks super cute. There is, however. Little area right here that's raised up. That's where we can put you. Alright, there is our dragon fruit bowl. Oh, perfect thing to do. Make sure the ones that didn't stick come out. Alright, so I'm going to grab our matcha latte from underneath the UV light. Sit right there for a second. And we're going to put food underneath. But for this one, we can move the tables because you're short enough to go up under there. There you are. Alright, so let's clean up our area and get ready for the next one. keep all my little utensils that come because I never know when I'll need them for another one. Okay. 
We're gonna add that. Get rid of this in the trash can. That I have right next to me. All right. Let's get ready to do our pickles. I'm super excited for these. Because when I was little, my granny, she used to pickle pretty much anything. And because you know they were from the depression and they made sure that there was always food in the pantry, even if it was pickled. So for that, I think this is cute. And I remember sitting and helping her close all the lids. These are so cute. It says homemade by and then pickled on so you could put a little date in your name on there if you like I love it what we can do is we can go ahead and actually put one on the lid See how they want us to do it. Okay, so we're going to put half of the vinegar, then the pickles, and then some of the mustard seed, and then we're going to bake it. All right, well, so let's get started on that. Let's go ahead and open our vinegar, also known as resin. And no, it doesn't smell like vinegar. All of this smells like resin and it's funky. All right, get on there the right way. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and open everything just to where we don't have to stop and do that. I know it said to add some of the mustard seed last, but I think I'm going to put just a couple at the bottom. Because it would seem like hard for it to get down there. Please let this be easier to come out, and please let there be some in here. Which our pickles will probably take up a lot of room, but we still need the vinegar. Come on down. All right, so that's about halfway. And just a couple more little mustard seeds on top. Cucumber, rather, they're not pickles until they're pickled. There goes one, and if I can keep them, my hand, I think I'm about to use my own tweezers. Those are a little stressful for my hands, anyway. Got old fingers. I turn some facing the outside and then some facing the inside.
Oh yes, little snug fit. And so, got our little mustard seeds down there at the bottom. And add some more to the top. And some more vinegar. So it looks pretty full except for right there. Oh, okay, that tinny vinegar. That's no bueno. And this also can pop up the bubbles that might be there. Alright, I think we are full. So let's check our dragon fruit bowl. All done. But I actually do want to use that spoon again and do a little frozen moment. We'll do that in a minute. Oh, look at that fat bubble. You got to go. Thank you. Now, we can put them under the light to cure. There they go. Little pickles. I love it. All right. So my pot is done. It actually still looks decent, you know? It's not too bad. Let's close up the mustard seeds. Put them in there a little bit over here. Didn't need the spoon. Here. I think I'm gonna actually stick this one on the side maybe. Or maybe underneath. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, let's do a little frozen moment with this one. This is what I get for not preparing my stuff first. Is there going to be enough room? Probably not. Still going to try it. Mm-hmm. 
back of the spoon. place I can put it. Actually, while that one's going, I have a point I can use. Just to freeze it in time to where I don't put it up underneath the lamp over there and then it just falls over. We're still waiting for the pickles. I wonder where we're going to sit our matcha latte. Here's my little area over here. One of my little creations I've made so far. I'll go in depth on another video. And then there's my little lifestyle ones up there at the top. All right, let's check these pickles. Are they hard? Yes, they are. I can put a little wood on them. And there we go. We have pickles. We have a dragon fruit bowl. And we have a matcha latte. So I had quite a bit of fun, minus that latte, but we still made it happen. So I'm excited for you guys to make it all the way through the video. And so if you enjoyed it, please like and don't forget to subscribe. I want to make sure we can get this channel off the ground. And um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And see you in the next one. Much love.